Hey everybody, this is Dan Calloway coming at you again today, and today I want to talk about uh, one of my favorite uh, file transfer protocol clients. It's a free client, it's available in um, GNOME, um, and it's for Linux obviously, and it's called GFTP. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, the terminal here and show you how I installed it. Uh, what I did, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a sudo apt search gftp, should I have it on the system, put in my password. I'm actually running, uh, I'm running the uh, Black Lab Enterprise Linux, uh, which is a uh, Kubuntu 1604 LTS uh, distro, and it uses, of course, uh, aptitude for its package management. Uh, so I've got to use the sudo command here. And so when I did a sudo apt search at gftp, it tells me it's already installed and tells me where it's located. So I don't have to do any installation. But if you were to install or want to install it, um, what you can do here, let me go ahead and clear the screen. You can do a sudo apt get install uh, gftp. Okay. And it's going to go out and look for it. It says it's already the latest version, 2.0.19 for Ubuntu 2. Okay, So if this was not already installed, it would go ahead and install it for you. So I don't need to do any installation. But that's how you do it. All right, so <coughs> um, to bring it up, I'm going to go ahead and close, uh, minimize that rather, and bring up... Um, it's located under Internet, I believe. There it is. GFTP. I'm going to bring it up. Uh, once you install it, it will appear in the menu under Internet, or it should appear under the Internet menu item. If it doesn't, you can move it. All right, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty slick little uh, file transfer protocol client. It allows you to uh, upload um, one or more files simultaneously. Uh, he's got a, a right arrow here and a left arrow, so you can upload to a remote server or download uh, from that remote server to your local system. This is my local system over here, and on the right-hand side uh, represents where I'm going to upload to or download from. And that uh, area that I'm going to upload to or download from is actually located on my uh, local area network, wireless LAN at 192.168.1.157 which represents my personal cloud. I've got a, a 6 terabyte personal cloud um, set up and I've got tons and tons of information up there and still got tons of space left. I'll never use it all. Um, there are a couple of different mechanisms I can use for um, uh, uploading and I'll talk about that in a moment. But let's take a look at the menu here. You've got FTP. You've got your local that represents your local system. Okay, in my case, I've got Linux. Then I've got the remote tab here for, uh, you know, creating like a new folder once you get connected. Create a new folder, change permissions, change directory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. On your remote, you've got a place to bookmark. You can, uh, you've got a transfer tab here for moving files up and down that are transferred. You've got a log tab for looking at the logs, for viewing your logs, which is really slick. And then you've got a tools tab here for creating a compare window, clearing the cache, and of course the help. All right. Okay, so this particular client, the GFTP, GNOME File Transfer Protocol Client, looks kind of like uh, Windows Explorer, if you're familiar with Windows Explorer. It's got a left and a right pane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect to it, and so to do that, um, I'm looking at Home Data Pioneer, which is my home directory. Data Pioneer is my home directory uh, on the system, so it's the home directory and then Data Pioneer underneath it. So you're looking at my um, home directory uh, information right here. Here's my documents, my downloads, Dropbox, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. To connect to my personal cloud, all I need to do is come over here and press that button right there. It brings up this screen, which means that I am connected 
not connected physically to my personal cloud, but it's talking to it, okay? And so I need to put in the password because it's prompting me for that password. So let me go ahead and do that. And hit connect. And it's going to go ahead and go ahead and try to connect. It says it's connecting. I uh, must have put the wrong password in. Let's try it again. And let's connect. All right, so I'm connected. It says that I'm connected over 192.168.1.157 FTP. I keep most of my stuff here uh, under DAN storage, so I'm going to double click it. And this is my DAN storage area here. And you can see I've got tons of folders and files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, if I want to take a file and um, download it, from my personal cloud. Let me come down here. Let me find a, a file. Um, it's just this is 90 day study.pdf. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to come over here to my documents folder on my local system. Remember, this is my local system. Double click it here. And I'm just going to put it somewhere in my documents folder under my home directory documents folder. And to do that, with this highlighted, I'm going to hit this left arrow and down here at the bottom it says that it transferred it and it's already transferred it and so let's see how quick that was and so if I come over here and there it is the 90 day study PDF and so it transferred that file very rapidly uh, I can do an entire folder just trust me I'm not going to do it but I can come up here and select an entire folder and then transfer that entire folder over if I like. Okay. When you're done with uh, accessing your personal cloud or some remote server, uh, you can select Remote Tab and say Disconnect, and that'll disconnect you. And I am now disconnected. Uh, that was a demonstration of the file transfer protocol capability of the GFTP client. Now I want to show you something uh, that. Uh, is also built into this GFTP client and that is a secure method for uploading and downloading and what I'm going to do is I'm going to down arrow here and select SSH2 and that represents a uh, secure shell version 2 in Linux and so now when I transfer files back and forth uh, they will be transferred in encrypted form not uh, plain text or open you know, so anybody can eavesdrop. If somebody's sniffing packets on my network uh, and they could see what I was transferring down from my personal cloud, but if I use the SSH protocol here, uh, they're not going to be able to do that. They, they won't be able to read the encrypted traffic. Now, my username and password on my personal cloud is a little different. Uh, it's not the Dan Calloway username, it's root. Got a different password as well. All right, and so I don't need to put the um, password in or anything. It's just going to prompt me. I also don't need to put the port in, although you could if you wanted to. Um, you know, for SSH version 2, it's different port number than it is for FTP. For FTP, it's port 21. Uh, I believe for SSH 2, it's port 23, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to click this button. It's going to prompt me now for password. I got to put in my SSH2 password. I have SSH server running on my personal cloud, obviously. And let me connect. It says it's connecting, and it did connect me. All right, so I've connected over uh, SSH version 2. Um, to get to where I need to get to where I was in, in in the FTP client portion of this program or this application, I need to double click on the up arrow and come down and select a folder called Shares because that's how the personal cloud sees it. And then there's the DAN storage folder. And so now we're looking at exactly the same thing we were looking at um, in FTP. Okay. And so if I come back down here to another file, let's say I want to take this advanced network file here and download it here to my documents folder. 
When I do it this time, it's going to be an encrypted form. So let me go ahead and left arrow here. And it transferred that file very quickly, uh, encrypted over my wireless LAN uh, to my documents folder on my local machine here in Linux. So that file name, uh, let's see if I can move this over. It's called Advanced Network Architecture. If I come down here to my local system and go up to Dolphin, which is my file manager, and then go into my Documents folder, I should be able to find that file, uh, Advanced Network Architecture Next Generation PDF. It's actually my thesis for my master's degree. And so it transferred that file down to my Documents folder from my 6 terabyte personal cloud with no problem. All right, and so that's the GNOME FTP client. Let me go ahead and disconnect from it. All right, and so this has been a demonstration of the file transfer protocol and SSH2 secure shell version 2 protocol capability to transfer files to and from uh, a remote server, in my case a personal cloud, from my Linux box. Have a nice day.